And you're heading back to Petalburg City. I think I find it surprising how we still don't have Cut. Like, we have Rock Smash, we have Flash, we have Strength as well. I guess they just didn't find it too important this gen. Oh, hello again. You're the person who not only helped me in Petalburg Woods, I don't remember this guy's name, but also got back my stolen package, and then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the package arrived too. I thank you very, very much. Why, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you a hero. For, wow, that was so p poetic. <laughs> For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. Okay, we got a repeat ball. Now, the new kinds of Pokeballs in Generation 3 are a lot better than Generation 2. For one, they actually work. <laughs> repeat ball is interesting in that it works better if you've already caught the Pokemon in question. So if you ever find a shiny of any Pokemon you've already got, or maybe the opposite gender, and or maybe you just want to get a different evolutionary kind of line, like with... Uh, Wurmple, for example. We'll find more new Pokeballs we can buy in March throughout the game, but for now, we gotta backtrack. We gotta head all the way back to Petalburg. We've been anticipating this moment since, what, part two? Heck, even part one, we saw our dad on the TV. But now it's time to surpass and become greater. Hey, how's it going, champion bound jockey? The doors in this gym open when you beat the waiting trainers. Whoops. The doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of Petalburg Gym use all kinds of items. The doors at the left lead to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. He doesn't say you can't go back because, well, you can go back. But yeah, this door here is the speed room. And the other door is the accuracy room. And what that entails is, well... I'll just show you, I suppose. We'll go in the speed room. Hey there, trainer. The ability to attack before the opponent. Just that alone puts me at a great advantage, don't you agree? I suppose so. Priority is important. So Norman's Gym is very interesting in that it doesn't just involve a specific type of Pokémon. Well, okay, they're all normal type. That's their gimmick. But as you can see, the trainers will use items, in this case in X-Speed, which we get the hint of from the room. And using different items like this, or having different specialities can make each battle a bit more interesting. In fact, I actually want to go and do every trainer before fighting our father. Oh man, maybe I should use Quick Attack there. Now, Delcaddy here is the evolution to Skitty, a Pokemon that we may have seen previously? It's just a normal type, nothing too crazy. I do like it a little bit. It actually evolves with a Moonstone, which can be fairly difficult. You see, Moonstones... We can obtain, I think, one Moonstone just waiting around in Meteor Falls. But other than that, they're only held by the wild Lunatone. And guess what? Lunatone aren't in Ruby version. They're only in Sapphire. So we only can get one Moonstone in the game. So in a way, even though both Skitty and Jigglypuff are in Ruby version, we can only evolve one of them because of how the items work. I don't know what you're thinking. Is there really no place we can buy them? Uh, unfortunately, no. Actually, Sunstones work the same way. There's like one we can find, I think, and then the rest of them are held by Wild Soul Rock. Luckily, here in Ruby version, there are plenty of Soul Rock and Meteor Falls, although if you're playing Sapphire version, getting both a Blossom and, I don't know, uh, Sunflora, for example, could be a bit of a challenge. Actually, what other Pokemon do use a Sunstone other than Sunflora and Blossom? I don't know any. Let's, uh, let's handle this Shadow the Hedgehog style and go with the far extreme. Here we have the Zero Deduction Room. I think that just means this person will use some, like, safeguard sort of thing and... Yeah, we just can't lower their Pokémon's abilities. That's fine, I'll just Swords Dance my own abilities up. Linoon, huh? Evolution of Zigzagoon. Those are very blue eyes, I didn't remember that. Yeah, Guard Spec. Some of these items they use are very unique. Not just like X Accuracy or X Defend, stuff like that. Lowering my accuracy, are you? If only I had a Guard Spec of my own. Uh, well, we seem to be doing the trick just fine. Now, as you'll notice, all of these trainers only have one Pokémon to kind of show off their gimmick and then carry on. Uh, because of that, all of these Pokémon we're going to be facing are fairly high level. You know what? That's okay. 
We get a good amount of experience from each of them, and so if we do every trainer, I think we'll be well prepared for our father, even without doing any grinding beforehand. I also like how the trainers here acknowledge that we're the gym leader's child. Oh. Uh, this could be bad. What was their gimmick again? Oh, X-Attack? Um... Yeah, we essentially just did the exact same thing, didn't we? Only we're three levels lower. We don't have a really bulky defensive team member. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We'll hit them with the Swords Dance's strength. Oh! That's just one shot. Wow, they probably should have just hit us with Slash or something. You know, our Swords Dancing Ziggy here is doing the trick because turn one, we get our attack up, turn two, we hit strength, and even if we don't kill with strength, we can quick attack and then it should usually do the trick. The only thing we have to worry about is if we get hit with like a sing or... Oh. Uh, never mind. We're good to go. It is nice how every trainer in this takes the time out of the first turn to, I don't know, increase one of their stats or make themselves immune to stat changes. Oh boy. Recovery room? You're gonna heal your team up, aren't you? You know what? Healing yourself won't matter if I one-shot you. Let's get to swords dancing again. I like how the Pokémon we're facing are kind of the same on opposite ends, like a strange parallel. We're fighting the same Pokémon, but it's a different kind of battle. Although, your recovery moves really didn't come into play this time. <laughs> I'd be proud to have Ziggy our main kind of Pokémon in this gym. I mean, after all, it's a normal type, and this is a normal type gym. We'd be proving ourselves the better trainer in that sense. So this guy uses a dire hit. Um, does that increase critical hit, or does that make it so that they can land like a one-hit kill move? I don't remember. Either way, they might just be dead right away. Yep, okay. <laughs> this defense could be a problem. We might not one-shot even with Swords Dance. Yeah, we need to land two of them because of that. Ooh! Oh, and the flinch too! Maybe Quick Attack can do the trick though. Maybe? Oh no, just barely not enough! Ziggy? <gasps> We held on! Look at that. The clutch quick attack. I don't think there's any rooms left. I think I did all of them. There was strength, defense, speed, accuracy, one hit KO, um, the one that they don't change, you can't change their stats at all, and recovery. I don't think there were anything else. It's about time. We're finally going to battle our father, Norman, the normal type gym leader. Hmm. So you did get four badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Jockey? I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. You'd better give it your best shot too. Oh man, this is a moment that's been built up to really well. Honestly, I don't think any of the gym leaders in most Pokemon games match up to the anticipation here. He's starting off with a Slacking, a very powerful Pokemon, but it has a glaring weakness. Every other turn, it does absolutely nothing. Now, if we can just... Oh, God! I was about to say, if we can live a hit, then we'll be fine, but, um... I guess let's try to paralyze it. Because if it can be paralyzed one turn and slack off the next, then it won't be able to do much to us. Because, yeah, right now it's loafing around. Does Shockwave paralyze? I don't know that it does. I just know that it's fully accurate. Oh no, that was a critical hit. Marvin can't do much here, we need to switch out. Come on, Karen. That attack really hurts, but I think you could take it. <sighs> We're good. Secret power, give it a shot, I guess. Oh, that did nothing! We're gonna outspeed, though. Let's wing attack, that'll do a lot. Never mind, that did even less. <laughs> Uh, Rock Smash is super effective, but it's just such a weak move. Let's go for Bullet Seed. It's Stab, it could hit a lot of times, hopefully. Oh man, we could really use a good move with Bobby like Giga Drain. Right now we're not doing much. Alright, fine, we'll do Rock Smash and, and, and try lower defense, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Here comes the facade. Oh, it just one-shot us. I think two Shockwaves will do here. Oh no. Oh no. Is it still gonna have to loaf around or did that count as its loafing turn? Wait, he gets to go again? So the turn where he heals. Oh god, I've already lost the battle, haven't I? Go for a Thunder Wave anyway. 
Because here's the thing. If he's paralyzed, then there's a good chance he'll just do nothing the whole battle. Plus, we could try to go for some growls. I, I, I guess? We're faster, and that's nice. I mean, it's a generally slow Pokemon. It's a slacking. Yes, the Paralyze. So is it going to be loafing around now? Because then we got a real shot at this, or at least at beating the slacking. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just keep going. Like, if we keep lowering its attack, and it keeps getting paralyzed, then at some point it just won't be able to do anything to us, right? I mean, he has potions, but we'll just stall him out, hopefully. Loafing around, we lower attack again. I think this is going to be as low as it can get. We're at minus six now, aren't we? Uh-oh. Um, that still did so much. Okay, no, we're at minus five. We'll lower the attack now and then heal. That's a minus five slacking. That damage. I mean, I know we're not the most defensive Pokemon, and it is a very strong Pokemon. Well, wait a minute. We don't have any healing items. Uh, whoops. I've just lost the battle. Oof. Yeah, okay. That's my bad. I should have <laughs> bought some healing items. Hey, you know what? We didn't lose too much money because a lot of it was invested into, uh, into gambling. Okay, let's buy as many super potions as we can get. And I think that was a good strategy. You know, we paralyzed the slacking and... Actually... I think Norman has more slacking than just the one. So it's probably a good idea to just paralyze and switch out. That way, other Pokemon can do the battling, and Tammy will just do the status effect stuff. Steel Wing! Maybe this will make good use of our attack. Oh man. I know Steel Wing has like a chance to lower something? Or no, does it raise our own attack is what it does? Maybe. Oh, it didn't do anything that time, though. Karen, you're gonna do the damage you can, because from here... Ooh, a crit, nice. From here, it's gonna be loafing next turn, so we'll go into Minin, or I'm sorry, Tammy, and we'll paralyze. Now it's gonna be slower than everything on the team. And so now... We'll start hitting it with sparks, I guess? We could start growling it. Ooh, that did good, though. Critical hit. Oh, why couldn't you be paralyzed, you ass? Alright, alright, alright. He's gonna use a potion. So, we'll start swords dancing. If Ziggy can just sweep, like if he gets paralyzed, and yeah, next turn he'll be loafing, then we'll get a really high attack stat. And we just have to hope that the slacking gets paralyzed like one or two times. Oh yeah, two. Oh no, it didn't get paralyzed! That was with a swords dance, by the way. That damage we did. Why can't you be paralyzed at least once, Slacking? Come on. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this order. Maybe I should have done Bobby first so that I could have lowered its defenses. Because right now, we're, we're not, we don't have any good moves at this point with any of our Pokemon, and we can't revive either. I guess let's try Fury Cutter? Oh, that did absolutely nothing, even after lowering its defense. Tract and Helping Hand are going to be useless, and Quick Attack isn't even as strong. There's nothing we can do. Unless it's paralyzed about four times, there's nothing we can do. Even then, normal will just use a potion. Yep, it didn't even get- It didn't get paralyzed once, the whole battle. That fe uh, that honestly felt like it was just really bad luck. The main problem is that it just one-shots everything. And that in order to grind, we'd have to go so far out of the way. We'd have to head all the way back through Petalburg Woods, the long way, because we can't take the, the 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 jumps. Then we have to head through Rustboro City, through the cave, through Verdenturf Town, through, I guess, Mauville City, and up to, I guess, the desert route would be the best one to grind on. Because as you can see, Briny's not here anymore. We can't take that path. Even if we could, that path isn't exactly fast by any means. But honestly, grinding seems like the only possible solution. The strategy is not the problem right now, the problem is that he one-shots almost every one of our Pokémon. You know what? I got an idea. I- I got a great idea. Go in the bag, and let's go ahead and use an old rod. Hey, Magikarp, how you doing? Look, I have a very important task for you, so why don't you get in this randomer people? 
Uh, uh, it didn't work. You know what, that makes sense, we haven't got a Magikarp yet. Alright, we got us a Magikarp, we'll name it Snuff, all is set in place. Because here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna lead with Snuff, so that way it one-shots Snuff instead of one of our other Pokémon, and we'll get a free turn to paralyze it. Or maybe a free turn to start hitting it with Rock Smash so we lower its defense. Do we have any good HMs that we could teach Karen? Um, Dig might be good. Dig would mean we'd be avoiding a, uh, an attack each turn. Ooh, we could teach that to Ziggur Bobby. You know what, yeah, let's teach it to Bobby and get rid of Fury Cutter. Wait a minute. We might just be able to get into a pattern. This is the first Pokemon of three, by the way. I mean, three Pokemon isn't a lot, but it's still just ridiculous how powerful this first one is. Snuff, uh... Y yeah, this is to be expected. But now, let's go ahead and paralyze it. We'll have the free opportunity to do so. And Tammy can also start doing some damage with Spark. I don't want to risk switching into Bobby. Or you know what, no, let's switch into Marvin, who isn't going to be as useful in this battle since we aren't paralyzing. And even if we get fainted, that's okay. We'll get a free switch into into Grovile. Yep, this is okay. Now, he's gonna be sitting around doing nothing. So let's rock smash to lower his defense, at least one time. Oh, we didn't get the stat lower. That's okay, we're faster. We'll dig. He's gonna do nothing, and then he's gonna be loafing next turn when we're exposed. It's perfect! Oh, of course, now you get paralyzed, slacking. You couldn't get paralyzed in the other times? I'm realizing a flaw in this play, and we only have six digs left. Um, and we haven't done nearly half of its health. So... it might come down to an extra bullet seed, I suppose. Shoot, there's the Hyper Potion. Uh, I think the whole plane just got thrown out, unless... it gets paralyzed a lot. Yeah, there goes the plane. All we did was... Get rid of the Hyper Potion. We gotta go for Rock Smash and hope we lower that defense some more. Please get paralyzed. Please get par- We didn't lower the defense or get the paralyze. What a waste. Okay, well, it's loafing around. We do the Swords Dance. This is good. We could hope for a Paralyze and Swords Dance again because earlier strength did not do nearly enough damage. How much does Slash do in comparison? Slash is 70, Strength is 80, but Slash has a high critical hit chance. It might be worth going for an extra Swords Dance, and hoping that they get paralyzed. Because then they're loafing next turn, and then we can do another Swords Dance. Yeah! We're gonna go first, too. We've maxed out attack. Ziggy, I need you to come so through right now. Uh, I don't know what's worth it. 80 damage, you're going for crit. I think we should... What's the point in playing it safe at this point? Let's hope for a crit. Come on. Oh, no crit! And it, it, it hit us! It wasn't paralyzed! Oh, it's such a waste of getting our attack maxed out. Spark. Okay, it didn't use... The, Norman didn't use a hyper potion. And we got a crit. At least we killed the slacking. At least we killed the slacking. So here comes a Vigoroth. Which you think, oh, it's the weaker evolution. It's... It's before slacking. Oh, this thing is strong, believe me. Just look at that. That wasn't a crit, and it did slash. So this could be bad. It also doesn't loaf around every other turn like slacking does, and it's level 30. I don't know that we can beat this gym. Please be paralyzed. Okay. Um. Just keep going for wing attacks, I guess. We live. Let's just super potion. Here's the problem. Is that we're just wasting all our super potions, hoping that he's paralyzed. And there's still another Pokemon coming after this that we only have Karen for. So... We can't really win. I don't think. Oh yeah, and this is gonna just keep doing extra da Yeah, we lost. We didn't even make it to the last one. Damn. I... That's so sad. That's so sad. I gave it another go and we still lost. You know what? The build up to this challenge was right. This is a lot for us. 
So you know what, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna actually backtrack all the way and do all the grinding I can. I'll be back next time and Norman won't be ready for us. Oh yeah, we still have a magic carp. 